Joining me now, Louisiana Congressman Clay Higgins. Congressman, Merry Christmas. Glad to see you. You recently grilled FBI Director Christopher Wray regarding the FBI's role on January 6th. Let's play a clip of that for the folks at home. A year later, we the people still do not have a definitive answer from you or anyone else in the Biden administration regarding the FBI presence and participation. Can you confirm that the FBI had that sort of engagement with your own agents embedded within into the crowd on January 6th? If you are asking whether the violence at the Capitol on January 6th was part of some operation orchestrated by FBI sources and or agents, the answer is emphatically You're saying no? No. Hmm. In my opinion, it appears the FBI congressman, as it targets one political party, targets whole religions, has turned into a quasi-secret police force targeting Americans rather than defending us. How do you see it? Yeah, very similar from my perspective, sir. The, the FBI was, was not only involved in the act, actions on January 6th from within. They had, uh, I suspect, uh, over 200 agents embedded within the crowd, including agents, or as they would call human assets, uh, inside the Capitol dressed as Trump supporters before the doors were opened. Um, beyond that, the FBI had embedded themselves and infiltrated uh, online chat groups and, and websites and social media accounts across the country with any group that was discussing uh, objections to COVID oppression. And the FBI, you know, effectively infiltrated those groups. And when you track the, the text threads and the communications within those groups, and find the origins of suggestions of potential violence or, or an act of occupation of the Capitol on January 6th, you'll, you'll find that those, those messages were led by members of the groups that ended up to be the FBI agents that had infiltrated the group. So the FBI's involvement was deep, not just on J6, but on the days and weeks and months prior. And, of course, the, the video that's just recently been released also showing the Capitol Police welcoming in uh, people into the Capitol, uh, not trying to keep them out, as we were led to believe initially, undermining this whole insurrection narrative. Congressman, we're also now learning through new court documents. Special Inquisitor Jack Smith demanded a list of Twitter users that liked or retweeted social media posts from President Trump. Congressman, as the Democrats have largely abandoned the Constitution, and with the corruption that we've all witnessed at FBI and DOJ, it doesn't take much imagination to see socialists in the Democrat Party using a list like that for government threats, government intimidation, and government coercion. Can Republicans in good conscience continue to fund a DOJ and its operatives in light of their partisan and what I see as anti-American actions? Conservative Republicans certainly stand against funding uh, a DOJ and FBI that is clearly weaponized against the American people. Uh, we, we're taking a hard look at rebuilding the whole thing. So let me say regarding Jack Smith and his request for another list of American citizens under some alleged uh, legitimate investigative effort, uh, I'm, I consider it a badge of honor to be on another one of Jack Smith's list. So I just say that his, his days are numbered and American patriots are not going to stand idly by, good sir, uh, and, and allow our, our republic to dissolve. We, we are prepared to fight legally and peacefully and within the parameters of the Constitution uh, with every, every ounce of our might and, and focus. Uh, the, the leftists will not take our country from us. We, we're standing strong, and I thank you for being a voice of truth and freedom.